One thing that I've found through my career that I've really struggled with has been managing my nerves. Um, even to this day, I can feel my nerves creeping up, but throughout my career, I've learned ways to help uh, calm myself and also get myself a little more excited for races. So that's very important. One thing I learned about nerves is there's an actual optimal level to have of nerves. You don't want to be too high on the scale and have too much nerves because then you can crumble under the pressure. But you also don't want to have too little nerves going into a meet because nerves really show you that this means something and you want to give it your all here. So you want to find a nice in-between. And everyone's different, of course. I actually have a story of when nerves were just a little too much for me and it really showed me how important it was to have a good mental game as well as a good physical game. Um, so 2016, I went to Shore Cross Worlds in Windsor, Ontario, and I swam the 100 free in prelims and went a big best time, uh, seeded myself second for the semifinals, and was becoming a medal hopeful for Canada. And the fact that all of a sudden I was a medal hopeful and I was on home soil and I had the crowd behind me all made me very, very nervous for this uh, race in semifinals. I remember I couldn't nap when I went back home and uh, when I got to the pool, I ended up taking caffeine, which kind of just put me over the edge. And uh, I remember in the ready room, behind, before I stepped up to the blocks, I just remember I couldn't see straight. I could barely walk. My legs felt like jello. And I just remember thinking like, holy crap, like this isn't good. Like this isn't the optimal kind of level to be at before I race. And uh, I ended up not having a great race, messed up a lot of things, which made me no more nervous throughout the race. And I ended up not making the finals for uh, the short course worlds. And I learned my prelims time would have actually meddled. So that was a pretty big punch to the gut, to be honest. Um, but it showed me that I had to get my nerves in check. So I went to a psych, uh, sports psych therapist and we talked about having the optimal amount of nerves and how to calm yourself if you have too much nerves and how to excite yourself if you don't have enough. So one technique that I always use even to this day is I put my hand on my stomach take a deep breath in through my mouth for about five seconds, hold it, and then slowly release the air through your nose for seven seconds or a couple seconds longer than you inhaled. This calms you down, slows down your heart rate, helps you focus, and I use that if I really feel I'm creeping up on that pressure where I might crumble under it. On the other end of the scale, when I don't have enough nerves, I like to listen to music to really pump myself up for the race and show myself that this is important. I really want to swim fast here. And like I said before, everyone's different. You're going to have to kind of find your own kind of optimal nerves uh, through basically racing and like finding out what's too much, what's too little, and just like learning your body basically. But you can use these techniques that I've told you to really help you get to that optimal level. And there's others out there that you can kind of research on your own to kind of see what works best for you.